Today we're putting in a handbrake. I don't know much about the things I do And often people call me insecure I got two pairs of cheap ass sneakers And I don't know if they get me through But I know that you ain't okay with the way you live right now And I could talk a thousand times about lousy crimes It's my show, but you gotta face you so we're taking out these old rusty lines. Let me back up a few months. When I got this car, I uh, went to put some stainless lines in the rear. Just a simple upgrade, I did it to the M3 as well. But when I pulled off the rear wheel, I went to take the soft line off. The hard line was so brittle that it snapped. And it actually happened on both sides. It was then that I took a deep look under the car and realized how much rust this car had and how much work was ahead of me. So, I've been spending the last few months rebuilding everything I can underneath. And it's taken a lot of time, a lot of hard work, but it's been a good learning process. So I've already rebuilt the front of the car, and now I've been onto the back. So I've removed everything from rear trailing arms to the subframe, the gas tank, everything to get at these brake lines. So today we're gonna to take care of that. So we're taking out these old rusty lines. I'm going to try to keep everything in one piece so that I can match the bends when we put in new lines. So we're putting in a new union, new steel lines, and then we're going to have uh, some Condor Speed Shop stainless braided lines. Now the E30 uses six braided lines. We've already got two up on the front, and there's two here in the center section, and then there's a hard line on the rear trailing arm, and then of course a soft line to the caliper. But we're just doing this middle section and we're tying in the handbrake. Does that make sense? That's a that's a thumbs up, folks. Thumbs up. So anyway, we're gonna try to remove these right now. And I've got a little method that I like to try. Alright, so instead of getting these two rusty unions out. I found it's pretty easy to just cut the little spring plate. cut this line right there and then we should be able to just pull this out fabulous so we're going to repeat that on the other one back here get down with it tonight Get down with it tonight. We gotta tell you the reason why. Ouch. I hate hitting my head under the car. I do it all the time. So here's our union. This is just a three way union from Earl's. Takes three M10 by 1.0 fittings. I put a nylon sleeve in here just because the hole was too big. And then I'm using a stainless steel M6 bolt with a washer and a lock washer to keep everything in place. And here's the old line we're going to use as a guide. All right, get to bending. Let's bend this. Bend it like Beckham. I've lost my mojo. All right, so that
that didn't go as smoothly as I thought. And everything takes me longer than I think. That's what I get for thinking when I'm not used to it. That's a grandpa-ism. So yesterday we got the hard lines bent for the two little extensions that go to soft lines. And then I started getting the one bent that'll go to the handbrake. But today we're going to go ahead and start plumbing that handbrake in so that, uh, you know, everything can kind of meet up at the right place. Yeah, let's put a handbrake in. All right, finally I get to do something inside the car and not underneath the car. I'm sick of crawling around under there. Um, so this is the handbrake I've got. It's from ASD with a Willwood Master Cylinder. Um, I got these lines custom bent at my local shop. Pretty happy with how they came out. I will be replacing this god-awful handle. I think it's ugly. Um, and I will just have to draw something up and we'll cut it over at my brother-in-law's shop. Something a little less flashy, if you know what I mean. Kind of stupid. Anyway. Alright, so, we've already popped off the shift handle, taken off the shift boot. Now it's a matter of getting um, the surrounding plastic off. This is when I start to have to think about what this interior is going to look like when I'm, when I'm all done. But I need this to be in a, a good place, so I feel like I've got to take the plastic off. So that's what we're figuring out. All right. But you gotta face your fears. Get down with it tonight. Get down with it tonight. You gotta tell you the reason why. All right, I got it. Now, my car is gonna look a little. It's gonna look kind of kind of crappy in here for a little while until I build what I want to build for you know switches and race car stuff so what I've decided is I'm gonna try to put the handbrake right here I know there's a lot going on right here but we're gonna move uh, this we'll relocate these window switches to over here somewhere it's gonna clean that whole area up same goes with this switch here that'll get out of the way so, we're gonna give that a go. They see the signs, but they push them away. They say it's just a holy fake. I know that it's hard to believe in things you can't see. But I know that you got the gods to make it real. But you gotta face your fears. Alright, so I'm happy with how this came out. Now, the car is a mess right now, huge mess. We are going to pull out all the carpet and the sound deadening, and then I'm going to build some new pieces for the dash, um, but that's that's later. I kind of want to do all that at once instead of just doing the console here. So it's a mess right now. It doesn't look good. We're going to be putting a new shift knob on. That's coming. It's on its way. And we just got to finish building the rear of the car. Yeah, we're building the gas tank next. We had some brittle fuel lines as well, but now that the brakes are done, We'll move on to the gas tank, reinforce the subframe and the rear trailing arms, put new bushings in, build the rear of this car, and finally take it out for a test drive. So that's what I've got going on. It's just been busy. So, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. We'll see you soon. Do